Storyblock supports multiple content versions. In our previous videos we only used the preview key and we had it hardcoded in the code along with the Storyblock version itself. To not have this hardcoded in our code we're gonna create a .m file in our project and create the environment variables for the Storyblock token and the Storyblock version. As we are using wit as our builder we're gonna use its syntax for the environment variables. The key thing with the Storyblock version is it either needs to be draft or published. We're gonna create already the two possible environment variable config pairs. At the moment we will leave the draft version enabled. Now we will replace our hardcoded values. And now we replace version as well. As you can see, Storyblock works with the new environment variables. It works as before. Once you publish a story, it's automatically saved as well. When you see the green dot, that means that the draft and the published version of the story is the same. Now we're gonna make some changes to our landing page, for example for a new campaign. But we're gonna only save and not publish the changes yet. Now you can see that the dot changes color from green to grey and this indicates that the draft and the published versions of the content are now not the same. If you want you can check the draft and the published JSON API for yourself to see the changes. As our codebase now has the draft token enabled we can see the draft version in the preview. This is the version you want for your content editors. But for your production you want to use the published version. We can see the published content just by switching the environment variables. 